Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing a lab where we determine the percent composition of a compound, KHCO3, potassium hydrogen carbonate, within a mixture which contains both potassium hydrogen carbonate and also potassium carbonate. All right, so what percent of this mixture is this compound? All right, so in order to be able to do this, uh, you'll first get the mass of a crucible with lid. Uh, then you'll be uh, provided pictures of uh, the mass of a crucible with lid and the uh, white mixture. And then uh, you'll be provided pictures where uh, you'll see that uh, that, some, that all of the potassium hydrogen carbonate has decomposed into carbon dioxide and water, leaving some potassium carbonate, all according to this equation. Uh, so two potassium hydrogen carbonate formula units decompose to form one potassium carbonate uh, formula unit. Both of those are solid. But also during the decomposition, water and CO2 are released as gas. All right, so if you had the mass of the crucible with lid and the crucible with lid and the original mixture and the crucible and lid and the final potassium carbonate, you can determine how many grams of gases were lost. And by knowing how much gas was released, uh, you can know uh, what number of grams of potassium hydrogen carbonate would have originally been present in uh, that mixture, assuming that all of it had reacted, and hence what percentage of that original mixture was potassium hydrogen carbonate.